Day is the day we've been telling you about. A busy downtown street will partially shut down for months. Yeah, it's all in an effort to bring back business to the streets of Pittsburgh. Chris Hoffman joins us live along Fort Duquesne Boulevard. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, David and Heather. Now, here's what we're talking about with Fort Duquesne Boulevard. It's going to be closed for about five months, starting up on 7th Street, pretty much where you see that bus making the turn on to 7th, and it's going to go all the way down to Stanwick Street. Now, it's about two blocks and all, but this is a busy downtown uh, artery. Now, it's only the westbound side. You can see those cars there coming pretty much inbound. That side is still open. So if you're commuting off the Fort Duquesne, Fort Pitt Bridge, you're good in that aspect there. And again, this will be for five months as the road will be transformed into an event space. The Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership will turn the space into a pop up park. It's expected to have art and music throughout the summer season, and it will house the Riverside stage for the Three Rivers Arts Festival beginning on June 4th. The hope is to bring more people to downtown and support the businesses that were devastated by the pandemic. And drivers, of course, anytime they hear of a road closure, have mixed reactions. Can't imagine that's going to be great for parking. Uh, I was going to say, I imagine they're probably going to, you know, increase the rates. The parking will probably not be that easy for customers who are used to going, you know, from that way. But we are still accessible from the Penn Avenue, so it's all good. Now, the downtown partnership says there are plans to manage traffic flow as volumes increase or additional events occur. So here's your detail for pretty much going westbound, leaving the city on Fort Duquesne Boulevard. You'll go down 7th Street, pretty much right where you see that bus turning. You'll make your right onto Penn Avenue, go down the couple blocks, make a right onto Stanwick's, and you're right back on to Fort Duquesne Boulevard. Pretty much just a couple minute detour there. Live in downtown this morning, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.